Hi guys, welcome to this quick trick. It is going to be a quick trick and the reason I say that is because on some of my previous videos some people made comments that I keep waffling on and on giving it all this, giving you the background history. So I promise I will zip it today and just get on with the trick. Here it is, you need two decks of cards, they are just regular cards, 52 cards. Um, you've got red cards here and you can show them both sides, they really are just a regular 52 card deck. You also have the blue cards here and again you can show the faces of these ones, if only I could spread the cards. So there you have just a regular deck of cards. Now it's up to you, you can get a spectator to choose one of these packs, I'll leave the choice up to you. But the idea is, is it's very quick and simple. Uh, if for example we use the blue deck, we'll give these a, a quick shuffle because what I want to do is to actually take a card from here and add it to the red deck. Watch closely. Let's just, I tell you what, let's just take this one here, which is the Eight of Diamonds. There's no markings on it. It doesn't really matter which card we choose. It can be any one of the 52 cards. And I leave the pack here. We don't need those. Remember the red cards here? We've already seen them. Um, just 52 regular cards. We'll keep them face up and we'll place the chosen card or the random card face up in among the face up red cards. There it is there. Now this is where people believe magicians do fake moves. This is no fake. That is just a turnover. Something strange happens. I turn the red cards face down, but watch. Just a little click and you'll see our card that we just inserted in has flipped. It's reversed itself in the middle of the pack. Now for those that don't trust me, it really is the card from the blue deck. You can hand the decks out. There's 52 cards there. There's 52 cards there, blue, red, and no duplicates whatsoever. And that is a quick two minute trick. I think that's a great trick. So here's the secret to this particular quick trick. Nothing special, you do use just two regular decks of cards. They're not faked, double faces, double backers, they're just regular cards. You then go through the pack and you pick out any two cards, one from each. Now in my case, I chose the Eight of Diamonds, but you could have chosen any other card. And we'll go through here and we'll choose the Eight of Diamonds from here. That's all you do. Might be better to use picture cards, a bit more colourful. And all you do is you swap them over. In the red deck, now this is going to be my final revelation deck. Okay, you can use either, but this is going to be mine. So what I do is this particular card, I place reversed near the bottom. Okay, so reverse near the bottom. The other deck, what I do here is I place this red backed eight into the blue cards. And I'm actually gonna put this at the back. Okay, somewhere near the back. I need to get that to the face of the pack in just a moment, but I'll leave that up to you. But I put mine near the back of the pack. There it is. Now you must remember when you're spreading these to show these at the start of the trick to make sure you remember where the odd backed cards are. In the blue deck, it's near the top. In the red deck, it's near the bottom. So remember that it's near the bottom there and near the top here. So when I spread these cards, because I know it's on the bottom, I put a, a break there and just spread to show all of these. The cards down here. I can then turn it over, which now makes it near the top, so I can spread these as long as I don't spread all of this block here. They've seen the fronts and the backs. I can turn that over. You do the same with this one, but remember the, re 
The odd card is at the top, so I spread the cards normally to show the backs, but keep a clump of cards there. Gather those up, I can turn them over, it's now at the bottom, so again I make a little clump of cards and spread them, as long as I don't reveal over here. That's it done. You can use Magician's Force, that's optional. I don't often do that, I just say, look, we're gonna take a card from here, and you pick these up, turn them face out to the audience and shuffle them. What I'm looking for is my eight of diamonds. When I see that eight of diamonds, I just drop it on there. I need that on the face. You can do a double undercut or some other kind of move to get that to the top. Remember, this has got an odd colored back. So once that's on there, you do a double lift to show the card. Turn it over and just so Nobody sees this card here because somebody may have clocked that when you flip this over that there was a ten of hearts the next card down. You know what magicians are like. When you turn this over, as I slide this off, I turn my hand towards myself as I slide that off and turn this over like that. Just so they don't catch a glimpse of this. Put those cards down. There's all the blue. They really are blue. This one here is actually the red back. They think that's the blue back. So you turn these over and remember it's near the top of the pack, so be careful on that. So what I do is I just push across a, a chunk of cards and say, look, you've already seen all these cards and I split it about halfway, just casually, don't make a big deal of it. And say, I tell you what, let's put this card face up. Now I'm deliberately keeping this a little bit messy so they can see and they're convinced that all the cards, 52 cards, are face up. You put this roughly in the middle. There it is there. Very casual. Square them up, turn them over, the trick's done. When you spread the cards, it looks to the audience as though this has flipped. If there's any skeptics out there, they believe that this is just a red card in there already but the kicker is when you turn it over and it shows them the blue back you can throw that the cards are just regular you can go on and do other tricks they can examine them there's no duplicate eight of diamonds everything is clean and you can move on and that's a quick trick and hopefully i didn't waffle on too much don't forget hit the subscribe button tell your friends about us hit that like button really do appreciate that and uh, practice and enjoy